Thank you all for being here today. I am always moved by this event and impressed with all these people that came to show our survivors that they matter and their story matters and how important it is to believe. I am Christine Downs with the Denver Police Department and we have some esteemed people here to speak. Um, first we'll hear from, well second we'll hear from Beth McCann with the District Attorney's Office, the District Attorney, um, Denver Police Chief Ron Thomas, Forensic Program Nurse at Denver Health Michelle Metz, and Laura Platan, Patlan with the Blue Bench. But first, something that is important for all of us is to hear from the people that matter. So we're gonna start with three brave survivors. We have Jen Mers, the color queen, Tally, and Dee. If you'd like to come forward and tell your stories. Good morning. Should I give my name again? Sorry. You're, no, no, you're okay. Forward. I'm Jemmer's <laughs> color queen. I am a survivor of sexual assault by my stepfather, the monster. It started when I was eight and continued for nearly 10 years. Like so many of us, I kept this hidden for a very long time. Thanks to the Me Too movement, I began my journey of sharing my story publicly. I am originally from New Jersey. After relocating to Colorado, I had a difficult time. I found the blue bench and the services I received and still do as needed have made Colorado a safe place and my home. <clears throat> Our art exhibition relationship slowly started in 2020 during my first solo show, Undisguised, which featured seven self portraits portraying emotions and body image issues that come with being a survivor. A few Blue Bench staff members came to my opening night in a knee-high snowstorm, and they didn't even know me. <clears throat> to this day, I am blown away by their support and dedication to survivors. Since 2022, I have been working with the Blue Bench to put on an annual art exhibition, Rise, for survivors of sexual assault and violence. <clears throat> its purpose is to elevate our voices, our stories, <clears throat> spread awareness, and provide a community to do so. This year, they have named me co-founder, which I am so humbled by. <clears throat> our submissions have tripled since last year, and our participants are slowly growing, starting from 20 in 2022, 33 in 2023. And this year's 2024 RISE exhibition includes 65 survivor artists. <clears throat> There's just so much power and bravery in this exhibit and I'm so honored to be a part of it. My pieces for this year's exhibition represent three different versions of myself. <clears throat> In the physical exhibition, I have my painting Dynamic from my Undisguised series of 2020. I chose her for two reasons. One, she is how I met Megan Car Carvajal from the Blue Bench, the executive director in 2021 when she came to another art exhibition by the Women's Caucus for Art, the work of women she came to my artist talk, and um, that's how we connected. The second reason is she is power and represents <clears throat> the ability to face the pain and adversity with the healing light within. The second piece is a small mixed media installation with drawing crowns and little girl toys. This is something totally new for me and is expressing what my younger self couldn't. The title is inspired <clears throat> from Scal's Dead to Me song, lyrics from Scal's Dead to Me song. And lastly, in our virtual gallery is a painting that I reworked for this ex year's exhibition, Silent All These Years, title inspired by Tori Amos's song, representing the feeling of imprisonment in chains and no voice. It is such an honor and a privilege to have these pieces as part of the exhibition <clears throat> and has been so imperative to my healing journey and process. Thank you all very much for being here today and this opportunity to speak.
Hello, uh, my name is Dee. Um, I am a visual artist and muralist here in Denver, Colorado. Um, I, wow, there's so much I have to say that's amazing about the Blue Bench, the Rise Show, um, the artists involved. Um, I was really, really glad to find the um, art call for this show uh, in 2023. And I submitted a piece that I had made many, many years earlier um, that just represented tragedy um, from being a, sur a survivor of sexual assault um, repeatedly in many different situations. Um, so that, that represented that to me and I was glad to have a place and a platform to actually speak about that. Um, I am ever so grateful to Blue Bench and Jen Mertz for just putting together this space and um, these women, this incredible talent, and the ability for us to use our voices in the world and express ourselves. Uh, because often we unfortunately do have situations where we are not believed. We are not believed by friends. We are not believed by family. We are not believed by law enforcement sometimes. And it's absolutely exhausting to be re-traumatized, um, have to relive experiences in order to uh, bring them to light and sometimes in order for people to believe. They need details. And I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's right. And I, that is why I appreciate this show so much and why I'm involved in this show because none of those are requirements. We had, Monday we hung this show as a group. We had an exhibition team of the survivors and artists that are in this show. It was one of the most amazing experiences I have ever had with a group of women. There was camaraderie, we had fun, <laughs> and we made friendships. And I think that they'll last quite a while. So there's not really much more that I have to say except for thank you, thank you, thank you, Blue Bench, Jen Mertz. Hi, my name is Tali, and I am RISE 2024 Featured Artist. I make pieces like Wholehearted and Desarrollando for everyone and everywhere. My art is a story that started with believing. Believing in a survivor says a lot about our world, our society, and our community. Whether you are a student, whether you are someone who was born in the States, or whether you came to the States as an immigrant, whether your sexual assault happened years ago or none, I want to say that we stand together and the perpetrators will always stand alone. I want to say that rape is rape, no matter how many, how many, how many or how much people try to categorize it, it doesn't have a category. No matter how much people try to silence and ignore it, it exists, and it's not okay. Many times people will try to build cement walls on top of quicksand, but rise is the proof of a rose blooming through those concrete walls. I am beyond grateful to be a part of rise with many talented and strong artists and strong individuals who have came together to really create this community and create a safe place, not only in my heart, not only in my life, but for everyone here in Colorado, for everyone in the state, for everyone in the country and in the world. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce the district attorney, Beth McCann. Thank you, Christine. And um, thank you all for being here for this important event. This is really a, an amazing turnout. I also uh, want to take a moment to thank everyone at the Denver Police Department who is here, um, the Denver Health Medical Center, and the Blue Bench uh, for highlighting the importance of supporting victims of sexual assault and helping them come forward um, to report these things. I also want to recognize a couple of members of my office who are here, who are working every day to prosecute and hold accountable people who commit 
this terrible crime. So Maggie Conboy is the assistant district attorney, um, and she oversees all of our special victim uh, units and cases. And Bree Beasley, back there in her beautiful teal, um, is our sex assault specialist in the office. And they work every day to hold those accountable who commit this crime. Like so many of you, I've been very touched by the stories of these powerful women that have um, been brave enough to come forward today and talk publicly about what happened to them. But I'm also touched by the powerful works of art that we see around us. I'm inspired by your strength and your bravery in coming forward to share this pers very personal experience. As you probably know, this campaign is about encouraging victims to come forward and talk about what happened to them, to end their silence and bring attackers um, to justice. Studies show, unfortunately, that at least half and possibly as many, of two, as many as two thirds of all sexual assaults go unreported. Ultimately, if we are to hold sexual predators accountable and stop them from assaulting others, we need victims to report their abuse to the police and then stick with us through the criminal justice process. It's never easy, it's intimidating, it's grueling, but I assure you that the folks in my office will do everything they can to support our victims as they go through this process. We will be by your side every step of the way. I speak for everyone in my office when I say that we will always start by believing. And I would encourage everyone in Denver and throughout Colorado to do the same. I'm honored to be here today and I want to again salute the artists who are so willing to express what happened to them through these beautiful works of art and then be visible about coming forward. So thank you all very much. And now I'd like to call up Chief Thomas. Thank you and good morning everyone. Um, let me just start by saying it's, it's an honor for me to be here today for the 10-year recognition of the Start By Believing campaign. You know, I understand talking about sexual assault is never easy, especially if it happened to you. And so, you know, I think it's important, I think, to recognize the, the bravery of these, these young artists uh, for coming forward with their stories. And, and I just think, I just want to thank you for the bravery that you've shown. Um, you know, I truly believe that you know, we need to keep bringing awareness to this issue and, and really stress the importance of believing uh, survivors. Um, also, I want to recognize that you know, survivors may not want to report uh, a sexual assault that they've, uh, that they've suffered, and I certainly respect the, and honor that decision, um, but I just want you to know that you know, we have a dedicated team of investigators and supporters and advocates that are here for you if and when you do choose to, to report that. And I, I see a number of our investigators and advocates here in the room, and I just want to you know, say thank you for the hard work that you do. Um, so um, on behalf of Mayor Johnson, who unfortunately could not be here today, I know that he recognizes how important uh, today is. Uh, and so he did uh, sign a proclamation that it's an honor for me to, to read today. And so um, it starts off by saying, uh, whereas the Star by Believing campaign encourages Community members to start by believing victims of sexual assault just as they would believe a victim of any other crime. And whereas one in two women, one in three men, and one in, one in two trans non-binary non individuals will experience sexual assault in their lifetime, one in four girls and one in 13 boys will experience sexual assault as children. And whereas research shows that victims often tell a friend or loved one that they were sexually assaulted, and how that person reacts has, has a direct correlation to whether the victim takes steps to receive the help they need, which can be reporting to police, contacting a victim advocacy group, or receiving medical aid or, med uh, receiving medical aid or mental health care. And whereas research around sexual assault, assault shows that 90 to 98% of sexual assault reports are true, 80% of them, 80% 80, 80 of the time the suspect is known to the victim and saying, I believe you, significantly increases the chances that they will seek help and decrease the likelihood of victims engaging in self-destructive behaviors. And whereas this year marks the 10th year anniversary of the Start By Believing campaign in Denver, 
where the Denver Police Department, Denver District Attorney's Office, Denver Health, and the Blue Bench remain committed to believing and supporting victims of sexual assault while reducing the number of sexual assaults, holding, account holding <coughs> offenders accountable, and providing support to survivors of sexual assault. And whereas throughout the week of April, Denver City and County Building, the McNichols Building, Ellie Cop Hawkins Opera House and the Buell Theater at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts, Ball Arena and in Power Field at Mile High will all be illuminated in teal to shine a light on the importance of believing victims of sexual assault. Uh, and it concludes by saying, now there I, Mike Johnson, Mayor of the City and County of Denver, by virtue of the authority invested in me, do hereby proclaim today, April 3rd, 2024, to be known as Star by Believing Day. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Michelle Metz with Denver Health. Hello. I want to first off thank the survivors for speaking. This is very daunting when you just have one-on-one, -on -one, let alone here in front of another group. So I want to honor that because I know that is not easy. I've had the privilege of being a part of the Denver Health Forensic Nurse or SANE Nurse Team since 2006. Our nurses start by believing, by providing compassionate, patient-led care. We recognize coming to the hospital can be daunting. Um, we ensure that our patients are educated on their options, and we also make sure that those decisions that they make are honored. We empower patients to do what's right for them. A forensic exam is about making sure the patient is okay. It's about making sure that they have access to resources to help with their healing. It's about ensuring that they have access to medications to prevent inf infections, all in a trauma-informed and patient-centered way. It's about the patient, it's not about us. We're not there to push them one way or the other, we're there to support them. As we enter the 10th year of the Start By Believing campaign, um, I've looked back on that time because I've had the privilege of being part of it this entire time. And though there isn't actual data, I can't say for sure, these are the numbers that says whether or not this has made a difference. What I've seen is it has. I have seen increased in communication uh, between our multidisciplinary team, holding each other accountable and having hard conversations with each other sometimes. I have seen our staff at Denver Health now, staff-wide, our entire system, has, have all been educated, at least on what the options are available for patients. And trust me, I've gotten plenty of those phone calls about what do I do to best take care of people. Um, I've had calls from family members and loved ones who are reaching out asking how they can support their loved one who's been impacted by some form of sexual violence. Those are changes. This is making a difference. So uh, being believed is important. Um, I feel like we live it there at Denver Health, and we will always start by believing. And now Laura with the Blue Bench. Good morning. Thank you all for being here, and thank you to our community partners and the amazing survivors who have already spoken before me. My name is Laura Patlin. I am the co-director of client services at the Blue Bench. The Blue Bench is Metro Denver's only sexual assault prevention and client services organization providing comprehensive care at little to no cost to, for survivors and we always start by believing. I have had the honor of being a part of the movement to support survivors and end sexual violence for over eight years. During that time, I have met all kinds of survivors from all walks of life. Their experiences and healing journeys are unique to them, but one thing that I have seen echoed across their stories is the significance and importance of being believed. The simple act of saying, I believe you and I am here for you and meaning it can make all the difference for a survivor. It is the metaphorical act of extending a hand, of holding space for their experience, recognizing they are, that they are not to blame and acknowledging their bravery and courage in sharing with us their story. Healing should never have to happen alone. It is our responsibility as a community to believe and support survivors when they choose to disclose, whether that be to a friend, a loved one, a medical professional, or the criminal legal system. Only then can we move together into a world where sexual violence no longer exists. 
Thank you. Thank you all for speaking. Um, just some closing notes. The art show runs through April at the Remain Real Fine Art Gallery, which we thank wholeheartedly for letting us have this event. And I'm sure the Blue Bench also feels that way because this is a beautiful, beautiful show. We encourage the, the public to come down, learn about the pieces, learn about the people, learn about the impacts it has. And then also just always remember, it's as simple as, I believe you. I'm sorry this happened. It doesn't have to be, you don't need to ask any questions. You just need to listen and listen without judgment. And that will make more of a difference than you can ever imagine. So with that, we just invite you to visit our Denver Police Facebook and Instagram pages. We're throughout the month, Sexual Assault Awareness Month this April. We share all sorts of information like consent, other sexual assault awareness, and start by believing messages. So thank you all.